Here we're looking at the schedule crews tab on LMN scheduling. Schedule crews are different than actual crews for a very important reason. Crews are going to change. People are going to change. Foremen are going to change. The size of crews are going to change. It doesn't really make sense to create a schedule based on any one specific person. Who knows? Next week, that person may not be here. Now, hopefully somebody else comes in and fills their shoes, and that's where schedule crews come in. Schedule crew is just a generic name for a crew, like install crew one, install crew two, install crew three. And you can assign any foreman to be managing that crew or that schedule crew on any given day. Usually it's going to be the same foreman, but it does give you that flexibility to change it on any given day. So your schedule is actually going to be driven by schedule crews. And on any particular day, a foreman can clock in and say, today I'm running uh, install crew B, for example. So when they click install crew B, it'll show them the scheduled jobs for install crew B. Same with the mowing crew. If a foreman clocks in in the morning and says, I'm running mow crew C today, there will be mow crew C schedule there on their timesheet. They can work their way through it from first job to last job. It'll all show up in order. Creating a schedule crew is very easy. From the schedule crews tab, just go down to the bottom right and hit add schedule crew. First thing you're going to want to do is name your schedule crew. And I'll call this one mow crew C. I'd recommend keeping your crew names very short. You don't want to have big, long crew names. It makes it harder to read, especially on mobile devices with very narrow, small screens. So eliminate spaces where possible and just keep the names very quick. Crew size is the number of people in the crew. And this is used by default. So when you do schedule, for example, a construction or a maintenance job to this crew, it's going to use that default crew size to try to estimate how long it's going to take them. Now, you can change that on any specific job at any specific schedule. This is just going to be your default crew size. So if there's usually two men in my Mo Crew C, I'm going to put two. doesn't mean I can't have a third on any other given day or job. It just means by default, it's going to use two to determine how long the job should take when I schedule Mo Crew C to a job. Now, the default foreman will allow me to pick a foreman in my list. And that way, this foreman, when they clock in and they hit the schedule tab, it will automatically take them to Mo Crew C because that's their default crew. They can still change it again on any given day, but by default, they'll go to Mo Crew C because that's who the default foreman is. And that's it. You got your name, your size, and your default foreman. Click OK. Now, when you look at your schedule, if I go to the whiteboard, for example, here, and it says select crews. What I'm going to see across the top is all my different crews, enhancement crew two or enhancement crew, install crew A, install crew B, lawn care crew. As I go through the list there, the scheduled work for each crew will appear under here. So if I want to assign this job to install crew A, I simply drag and drop it over. And now it's installed or now it's assigned to install crew A. When they clock in in the morning and they hit the schedule tab, they'll see they're assigned to this job.